Hi, everyone, and welcome back. Thank you for joining. This is Shannon Williams of B2R Taxes. And today I want to jump right into 1031 Exchange because I think that this is a perfect example to go ahead and talk about how when real estate merges with taxes, how if you merge it together, it can become real sexy talk. And not only that, it helps you create generational wealth, right? So let's jump right into it. 1031 exchange has become a very hot topic. I am going to simplify this for you guys so that you don't overthink it. Now, if you want to read more material, there are so many different reading material that is out on this topic. This is an actual IRS code. You can go ahead and look up IRC 1031. If that is something that you want to do, if you have some time to go through that code, again, it is IRC 1031. Now, let's talk about what the 1031 exchange is. This is more so a tax strategy for real estate investors. And so what it allows you to do is to essentially have a home that you've had for some time, sell that home and not pay uh, taxes on the actual gain, the profit that you've actually received, and then turn around and exchange it for an upgraded value on a different property and not pay taxes on, again, that gain. So let's talk about first, what are the stipulations to get it done? And then once I do that, I'm going to get into the strategy part and what, you know, I would do if I was running this play. OK, so number one, you have to make sure that the home that you're purchasing, that you're exchanging it for is for the same amount as what you sold the home for. So what does that look like? I purchased a home that is $1 million. I have had this property. I have been doing upgrades that are adding to the value of the home, the market is really good. So now that home is worth 1.3 million. So I sell that home for 1.3 million. And instead of just selling it, I then go find another home for 1.3 million, not 1 million, but 1.3 million. Very important to understand that. Okay, so now that difference of that 300,000, I no longer have to pay taxes on that gain of 300,000 because I am doing a 1031 exchange. So now here are another couple of stipulations that you have to keep in mind. Okay, you need to identify or find that property within 45 days of selling your first property. Once you've done that, then you need to purchase the home, acquire the home within 180 days. So if you do that correctly, then you want to find a 1031 exchange accommodator to actually complete all of this for you. You can't do it and it cannot be your family member. This is such a huge tax strategy with great tax benefits that they want to make sure that it's being done correctly and it is being done ethically, okay? So you must make sure that, again, you are not doing it and you are not having your family members do it. You need to have a 1031 exchange accommodator go ahead and complete this strategy for you. And if you do all of those things correctly, you then avoid paying uh, taxes on that gain of 300,000. So let's make it make sense for you guys. Because sometimes when we're talking about these things, we really are not creating that picture. Here is why I love this strategy. This strategy not only allows an investor to continue to stay in the investing game, okay, but it allows them to upgrade the purchase price and the value of the property. So what do I mean when I say that? When I first started, I purchased this home that's $1 million, but now I am upgrading the value and now I'm purchasing this home that's $1.3 million. And so if I have that home for another 10, 15 years, then instead of 1.3 million, I might be purchasing a home for 2.1 million. And so it just increases and it just keeps adding and adding and adding to your net worth. So that is very important to understand as it relates to running this game of generational wealth, right? 
Another thing that you have to understand, which is where I actually love and I just get all dreamy eyed about it, is that not only is this adding to your generational wealth, but on top of that, it is protect protecting your generational wealth because it is protecting you from overpaying on your tax bill, but allowing you to continuously increase your income that you're bringing in, which is absolutely wonderful. Most people think that the more you make, the more taxes you have to pay. No, if you start using your taxes as a tool for generational wealth, you can make a whole lot of money and still not pay the amount that you think you are supposed to pay. However, you need to have a tax strategist on your side. Just ask Grant Cardone, Amazon, Donald Trump, and all these different people, they are making billions of dollars and paying zero dollars in taxes. So it can be done. So let's get right back into this example. What I am doing is if I'm an investor and I have this large portfolio, what happens when my tax benefits from having these properties are running out? Maybe I have run, done so much tax benefits with this one property that it's coming to an end, right? And so that is no longer going to allow me to lower my taxes with this strategy. So what am I going to do? Am I going to stop increasing on my money? No, I'm not. What I am going to do is run this 1031 exchange play or strategy because that allows me to trade in the one home that, again, I am losing my tax benefits on that is safeguarding my actual income and my wealth of what I'm bringing in. And now I can exchange it for a better home that has higher value. OK, it keeps me in the in the investor game. All right. And not only that, it allows me to recycle the tax benefits. So every several years, and it's not just upgrading because of the market, you could be doing things to this home that is increasing the value. So you're basically cashing in or cashing out what you actually have staying in the investment game. But on top of that, you are still getting the tax benefits because you now can redo the bonus depreciation. You now can start all over with depreciating your property, um, cost segregation and all of those things. Those things do run out. They're not infinite. They don't continue to go for the lifetime of the property. So this is what seasoned investors do. And even if they're not really investors, what they do is they know that they have a lot of money and they are making billions and they need as much tax strategy as possible to make sure that they are getting the benefits of not overpaying on their taxes. And one of those ways is real estate. As a matter of fact, the most, in my opinion, the tax strategies that run the most weight and hold the most weight is going to be those for real estate investors. So guys, thank you so much for joining. I hope that you liked the information that I gave you. Please make sure you hit the notification and recommend this page to other people. Also, follow me on Instagram. We do tax tidbits almost every day so that we can educate our um, clients and our followers and make sure that we are looked at as a resource to the community. So if you guys have any questions about different things that you want me to discuss, please make sure that you drop it in the chat box or in the comments. I would be more than happy to discussing those with you. And if you need assistance with your taxes or strategy tax planning, make sure you visit us on Instagram and hit the link in the bio. If not, you can go ahead and visit our website at www.taxwithd2r. That is T-A-X. W I T H D as in David, the number two R dot live, L I V E. And there you can take your pick. You can basically, you can show, you can actually click on the link and you will be able to choose from bookkeeping, payroll assistance, uh, but most importantly, tax strategy and tax planning. We also do tax preparation. So it's been a pleasure, guys. We'll see you another day. Bye.